YouTube, what is good? We are back in this thing. Today we're gonna be going over this color glow blob uh, effect. I've seen Night of do it and I've seen it done in a lot of peer music videos and just like that Instagram editing is where it's like the most popular. This is gonna be like a real quick tutorial. I have two hours till I have to catch a flight and I still have to pack. So we are gonna make this quick. I don't know even know if the flight's actually gonna happen because it is snowing outside and we're supposed to get like six inches of snow. But uh, anyways, Let's get this going. If you're new here, what I do is tutorials, music video breakdowns, behind the scenes of music videos, just a bunch of stuff in the visually creative hip hop scene. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely be sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, like and comment. It really does help push my content to a lot of other music video editors, directors, people that wanna see my content. If you could take a second and do that, I'd really appreciate that. If you wanna support the channel even more, you can go over to briandelmata.com and check out my texture pack. My texture pack allows you to get that AUG, Lone Wolf style, paper rip effects and transitions. There's over 210 drag and drop assets and they're all available in 4k if you're interested in that i'll have a link to a playlist of all the tutorials i've done on the pack and a link to the pack in the description that's enough talking right now let's get into the video and actually break down this effect so here's the effect i'm talking about it's done in the music video uh guillotine a lot of people asked in my last video i actually did a tutorial on the crt effect it was two videos ago i'll have a card pop up right now if you're interested in how to create this 100 digitally with no plugins or anything besides the default effects in premiere but that's not the effect we're going to be going over it's that color effect that i showed uh, a few seconds before that so to start off this effect you're going to need to mask out something or eliminate some part of the video you can do that by either using the pen tool and masking the shape tool and masking roto brush uh, you can use a keying I'm gonna use luma key I find it's the easiest way to get a cool effect on the video and uh, do it pretty fast and it doesn't involve any masking but like I said you can mask out using roto brush I think that's a cool way if you wanted to like just get his like pink part of the jacket here you could use roto brush and just mask that out and then do the effect and it doesn't even have to be that good of a roto brush because the effect is so different from the actual clip you won't be able to tell so uh, keep that in mind I'm gonna have it key out brighter and then I'm gonna turn up the threshold so basically what it's doing is it's removing all the lightness from the clip and I'm gonna bring it down to something where it's just a little bit of the clip now, it looks really weird right now one thing you can do right now is just duplicate the layer by clicking Control D and then deleting the luma key from the actual clip and then you're gonna go here and there this is the primary effect in the actual overall effect it's colorama and you're gonna drag that onto the top clip the clip where you've removed the lightness so it's just affecting the dark spots that we did not key out some things you can do here is you can see where the color wheels hitting here it's like this orangish red so if you wanted to you can bring in yellows you can bring in any color you really want i think purple and pink was pretty cool that's what they were doing in the music video and it uh i personally think it looks pretty cool with color of his jacket so i'm just gonna move the blue purple and pink all together so you get that kind of look the next effect i'm going to use is turbulence displace and what that's going to do is just give it that liquidy feel that you saw in the video itself really just play around with whatever you think looks best i'm going to do something like 30 for right now you can always go back and change this in a little bit but i just add a little bit of it or so when you add the optics compensation all the other effects it kind of has a little bit more of that wavy feel and then i'm going to go ahead and add optics compensation i would say this is another primary effect in this overall effect because uh, it does do a lot for the actual movement and just overall look of this effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is click reverse lens distortion, go to the first frame in this effect. I'm just going to open up the keyframe here and keyframe it. I wanted to start coming out at the beginning and then slowly come into the scene. And then I'm just going to use the view center point to kind of move where I want it to come from. That just kind of tweaks the, just the look of the effect. I think it's kind of cool if it's like, seems like it's coming from the, behind the camera. So basically you can just drag this and it, you can see how it moves uh, the effect. I think actually over here looks really cool. So I'm going to do something like this, like right there and i'm just going to keyframe it to something that i think looks good again just tweaking a few things and then keyframe it and if and as you can tell in this clip there's some already pretty cool movement just by not even keyframing but i think when it speeds up right here because or because this actual clip is speed ramped here i'm gonna have it like when it speeds up and goes slow i'm gonna have it go in so then i'm just gonna keyframe right around here and maybe drag it out just a bit more and then go like 10 frames over and drag it really far down, maybe something like 70. And as you can see, it kind of just like slowly goes back onto them. And you can see that turbulence displays taking action here with all that warping. That's already looking pretty cool, but the color and the harsh edges are just not what we're looking for. So to get rid of that 
part of the effect. I like using a effect from Universe plugin called Chromatic Aberrations. You do not have to use this. It doesn't really do too much for the effect itself. I just think it's pretty cool if you turn up the edge blur a little bit and the radial blur a little bit. That just kind of gives it a little bit more of a blended look. Like I said, you don't even really have to uh, use this. And then I just turned on the master distortion. You can turn it up or down or whatever if you like those colors on the edges you can turn it whatever you like but i actually don't really like those so i'm just going to turn it off and like i said that one's pretty optional it doesn't really do too much and we're going to be using a different blur anyways uh, in the next few effects to sell the effects so it's not necessary that's the only non-native effect in after effects so if you're following along you can definitely skip that and your effect will still look cool and then i'm going to drag add grain on i just like adding a little bit of grain to add some texture to the actual uh, effect itself i'm going to click final output because uh, my computer can handle it, and I just like seeing what it looks like all over the clip instead of just in the little preview square. And you can spend as much time as you want tweaking uh, each of the presets. I like playing with the presets. I think some of the grain effects are pretty cool, and you can make the intensity whatever you want. I just want to say that I don't even think they use that in the effect done in this music video. I just like adding grain to a lot of stuff. It's kind of like my personal style. I think it adds a little bit of cool of effect. And then I'm also just going to go down here to color, make it monochromatic, just so there's no color noise. And then, like I said, we're going to add some more blur so directional blur here is pretty cool i think it just kind of blurs the edges so it doesn't look as harsh i'm just going to crank the blur length up until you start losing a little bit of that rough edges you can do whatever you want you can even keyframe it for this effect i'm not going to keyframe it but if you had like a lot of movement like if you had it move in real quick or whatever you can add some more blur i'm just not going to go ahead and do it i don't think it's really necessary just another thought and then the last effect i'm going to drag on is vr glow this is just going to give it a little bit of glow you don't have to do this you can use sapphire glow you can use a bunch of other glows I like this one personally, and I mean, you don't even have to use a glow in general if you don't want. I just brought down the Luma threshold to zero. That way it just has a uh, glow throughout the whole thing and it's not limited by how bright it is. And then I'm gonna turn the glow radius down just a bit. Uh, maybe something like 75 looks good to me. And then I'm just gonna turn up the brightness until it has like a nice even glow. 5.8 looks pretty good. And then glow saturation all the way up. It's not gonna do much because the colorama is already like super saturated, but if there's anything that's not saturated in the clip, it'll just add that. So I just do it anyways. And then pulling that through, I'm actually gonna drag the grain underneath the VR glow. So it still has that grain on top of it. And then I didn't look how blown out the glow itself was. So I'm just going to go to Luma Threshold and put it to something like 3.7. That way it still has that glow, but uh, it's not too overpowering. And then this is when you can go back and play with the threshold. You can really just choose what parts you want. You could have it as big as you want, or uh, you could also have it pretty small. I think I'm going to move it down to something like 7. And then I also always go back to the Colorama output cycle and just play around with the colors so you can get more of a dynamic range so you get like a lot more colors in here. And then again, this is all just about tweaking. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the colors back. And then because I did that, I'm gonna actually tweak the output cycle a little bit. And then just going through and tweaking a few last things. This effect, it's all gonna be different numbers for you guys. Obviously every effect here is just gonna depend on the color of the colorama, the luma threshold of just your clip, just a bunch of different things. So you can always spend as much time as you want tweaking. I think that effect looks pretty cool. I like having a little bit more of that color and look at make it look a little bit more infrared. I think that's just cool personal touch you can do to it. Definitely feel free to add a bunch of different effects. You can definitely take away some effects that I added, add a bunch of different ones. Uh, I was watching Tiny Tapes, if you don't know who that is. He's a Canadian-based video editor and director. Super talented, I would check him out. Uh, but I was watching his stream today and he used Pixel Sorter. So I thought that was a pretty cool twist uh, I've seen on the effect. Definitely sky's the limit with this one you can play around with basically any effect in here just toss it i would say after colorama for the best results but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video if you made it all the way to the end i really do appreciate you if you haven't already subscribe like and comment if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to brindelmata.com and check out my texture pack helps you get that aug lone wolf paper rip and effect transitions i just announced my 10k subscriber editing contest so if you haven't seen that go to my last video there's a 750 dollars prize pool there's some raw footage seven performance scenes seven b-roll scenes 4k 120 and it's a uh, performance of matt Ock for the 100 music video it's already out but you just get to use your effects and style as if you were to do the music video obviously it's already out but yeah but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy peace